How to download any font from canva.com. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another vectormade.com tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get any of the fonts that are used on canva.com. So a couple months ago, I made a Canva Sans um, free download video, got pretty popular and uh, showed you a way that you can kind of find where Canva Sans is in the code and extract that. Well, I'm going to give a shout out to Nathan Brower, who commented on that video and actually came up with a, a better solution, I think, to finding that font and a lot of others. So I'm going to show you kind of what he had described. So first thing you'll want to do is just create a new document just like this. Then you want to open up the developer tools. So that's F12. If you're on a PC, it's uh, Command Option I. If you're on a Mac, it should look something like this. You'll want to click over here on the Network tab. It's probably uh, on All. So just come over here to where it says Font. Then you'll want to refresh the page. You can also hit F5 if you're on Windows. And I think that works on Mac too. Um, then <clears throat> inside of here, you'll you'll see this list that populates, and these are all going to be a WFF2, it's a web font format, or a, or not to, it could just be the regular WFF. Um, but as you can see, Canvas Sans, regular, and ita regular italic, bold, bold italic, and so on are already in here. If you want more fonts to populate in here, you just come into this where it says Canvas Sans, change, come over to the font, and click on a font that you want. Let's say you want Glacial Indifference. If I click that, all of those load into this area. You find a font that you want, you right click and you say open in new tab. That will bring up an option to download it. Let's just put it over here in the downloads folder. There it is. So now I've got this, if I open up that file, I've got this WFF2 uh, file, which would which does me no good right now, um, unless you're gonna use it for web oriented stuff, but you probably want it on your machine. So you gotta come over here to, I like to use cloudconvert.com. It's a WAF2 to OTF converter. You would select your file, so that would be glacial indifference here. You can convert it to OTF. You can also do TTF if you want, which I believe is mostly for um, uh, Windows users, but OTF works great too. And then just convert that, download that sucker, and I'll usually put it in the same spot. And then once that's there, you can double click on it to install, just like that, and that will install that font for you. And you can do that for every single font in, in this uh, uh, selection of fonts that they have on Canva, which is a lot, really. There's a ton of stuff in here. So there's a lot you can do with that. So anyway, guys, that is it. It's really, really simple, very, very basic, and you can get way more fonts this way, and you don't have to kind of go digging through like my previous method. I think this one's a lot better. Let me know what you guys think if this is a vast improvement over the last video, and I will see you guys in the next video.